It seems you've made a series of choices in your life that have led you back here. I don't know if those are good or bad choices, but too late, you're here. So welcome back for another video. I say this at the beginning of every video, but it's because it's true. And today, I'm very excited to try what we are gonna be trying. And just by looking at the array of things in front of me, I'm feeling like this could be our most ambitious recipe yet. I, I said I was gonna try jackfruit a long time ago. Not a long time ago, but enough time ago that since it has passed, you probably thought, yeah, he definitely forgot about it, but whatever. It's not like he would have done a good job anyway. Is that what you thought? Because if it is, I'm not mad. You're probably right. What I'm talking about is jackfruit, young green jackfruit, which I honestly think makes a pretty good band name. We are gonna try cooking with jackfruit today. I waited so long, not only to make a video about it, but just in my life to actually try cooking with jackfruit because I wanted it to be worth the effort and the time. Because I know that jackfruit is one of those things, in my opinion and in my experience, which is very little and limited, that it needs to be done a very, very particular way to even be worth the time you're putting into it. And a lot of times I've tried jackfruit that has just tasted like not, not impressive, you know? Like impress me. Don't go out of your way, you know, don't kill yourself, but impress me. Make me bow down to you. I'm not asking for a lot. Just make a godlike meal for me. Hello? Am I crazy here? The point is, I've had a lot of jackfruit that sucked and it made me not want to try jackfruit because I was afraid that I would do the same thing and I'm like, why even try, you know? Because I'd be like, if failure is imminent, why try? And then life be like, good choice. Go play some video games. So here I am, finally facing my fear of putting effort and time into something like jackfruit. It's a super, super, super weird recipe, but we tried to make banana peel pork. So I, as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't get any worse than that. We started at the very bottom. And unlike Drake, I started down here and I'm just, I'm just like riding the little rapids, just up and down, up and down, but we'll never go that low again. There are a lot of things about this recipe that are appealing to me. Namely, it's not just jackfruit. From looking on the internet for jackfruit recipes, I found almost nothing but the same thing, which is just nonstop barbecue jackfruit, barbecue pork jackfruit. And I didn't want to do that because that's boring. What I wanted to do was something cooler and I found it on a website called ZacharyBird.com. I'm assuming his name is Zachary Bird, but it could just be a guy named Zachary's Bird who just is really fucking smart and got on the Squarespace somehow. We're gonna be making fried chicken drumsticks. Now, buckle in. Okay, buckle in. You're asking yourself, what's the bone? Actually, you're probably not because you saw the title. Chicken wings, but instead of the chicken bone, it's a cauliflower. We're using cauliflower as the bone. And jackfruit's not even in the title. So come at me, vegans, I don't care. I don't even know if this is good yet. It better be good, but you know, win me over. Just win me over. Do you understand? Okay, so there are a lot of instructions on this recipe. One, two, three. Did I count the wrong amount? Hello? I needed to count to four, y'all. Four cans of young green jackfruit. Let's pop these open. I wanna see what it looks like in here. Whoa. It almost looks like hearts of palm. Anyway, so we're gonna strain these times four and discard all the liquid. Cause we don't need the liquid, but be careful because we will need the liquid of garbanzo beans in a can later. Super weird, but we're gonna use that. Okay, I did my best at rinsing them. Also, major key alert. You need to get jackfruit in brine or water. Do not use jackfruit that is canned in syrup. It will not work. It will come out sweet and not good. So if you're doing this recipe, brine or water jackfruit. So it says each piece will be tri triangular shaped. Correct. This is triangular shaped. It says cut off the core before squeezing the jackfruit so that any seeds pop out, all the brine is squeezed out and it spreads out to become stringier. Okay, so I think the core is like, this will be our test piece. This, it's like a seed inside. Okay, that's what we don't want. Okay, I think that works. So, oh, the core, I don't know, I'm so confused. Core in the middle? So I don't think we get rid of anything. I think we're just cutting it off to help get the, the seed out if we have to and so that all the, brine can come out of it. Cause I think the goal here is to make this as dry as possible or at least free of the flavor that it came in. Damn, this is kind of hard. All right, well, 
I'm just gonna be ripping the fuck out of jackfruit for a little bit. What do you say we speed this up for your viewing pleasure? This is super trippy. I just finished um, hand peeling and sort of shredding the four cans worth of jackfruit meat. And dude, this looks like a pile of chicken. It has almost the same look and some of the pieces have the same color as like chicken. This is very, very trippy. But what I wanna do now is I want to spread it all out on the cutting board. Cause remember the goal is to get rid of as much brine, you know, flavor and taste as we can before we start cooking it. So I'm just gonna like dab the whole thing, try to get the moisture out. There we go, look at that. So now let's set our jackfruit aside and start preparing our chicken broth. Now we are gonna create some chicken stock without chickens. I actually have never made my own stock here. This is kind of cool. So we're gonna do three cups total cause we're doubling the recipe and I'm gonna be using the Orrington broth base, which I think is just sort of powder it gives the chicken flavor. And we're gonna boil it with some water. So we'll do four tablespoons. Three, four tablespoons. And a little extra for good luck, cause why not? Cause I'm extra. And you're gonna put three cups of water. So that's two and let's get one more now. And we are gonna take our regular sized whisk and just sort of whisk that together. It's only 90 degrees. <laughs> oh, what, did you see my new uh, temperature gun? My infrared thermometer, 90 degrees. I can check it all the way from back here. 90 degrees, how hot are you guys? You guys are about 76 degrees. All right, all right, not bad, not bad, not bad. We are also going to prepare some liquid smoke. It says 10 drops. I feel like that's unhelpful. So we'll do 20 drops because it's doubling. I don't know what, oh, one, two, three, four. I don't know, I think that's, I think that's equivalent. There we go. Two teaspoons of onion powder, four teaspoons of nooch, four. And a little bit for good luck, cause I'm extra. So once this boils, we're gonna add the liquid smoke and the nooch and onion powder. And then we're gonna put all the jackfruit in, although I think we might need to switch pots. No, we can fit it in here, we'll fit it in. It's just gonna be crowded, you know? Everyone can get to know each other. Also, a lot of you guys like to make fun of the towels that we have down here. You don't like our towel selection? Are you not happy with it? You got something to say? We're gonna put in the nutritional yeast, stir it up a little bit. All right, well, this is already going wrong, but we'll just do our best, y'all. I also might not have done the absolute perfect job at getting the pieces out that shouldn't be in here, but I, I try to eyeball it the best I could. Basically, you don't wanna have like the mushy parts of the jackfruit or the pods. You just kinda want the stringy stuff, so. All right, so we're gonna let this boil with the jackfruit inside because we also do have to cook the jackfruit. Cannot forget that. Okay, no joke, I wanna use this, this chicken stock to make some like chicken noodle soup sometime. It smells exactly like chicken. So eventually all of the liquid here, all of this chicken stock will be absorbed by the jackfruit. That's what the recipe says should happen. Now we're gonna take our trusty cauliflower and prepare this to be a chicken bone because this is wings, but instead of the chicken bone, it's a cauliflower. You're gonna to want to get all the leaves off as close to the stem as possible because you don't want leaves, but you do want stem. The stem is gonna be playing the most important role in its little cauliflower life. Uh, more specifically, we're gonna need pieces of stem that have little florets on them. It says to cut it into four pieces because four wings, but I honestly think one cauliflower can, can serve as a doubled recipe. So I'm just gonna cut this one again. So it says you're gonna cut off the majority of the florets and keeping only the real thick boys. Um, so basically what you wanna do here is you wanna cut off a lot of the cauliflower, but leave a little bit. So you're kind of just making like a drum stick shaped piece of cauliflower. Really bizarre, but this is what we're doing. I think this is kind of what we're going for here. 
And I know you're thinking to yourself, wouldn't it just be easier to make regular chicken wings? And the answer is yes, it would be easier. Sometimes it takes a little more effort, a little more time, care and love to make something special. That isn't just easy, but it will be worth it at the end. And that is what I'm hoping this becomes. Look at these little chicken wings we're making out of plants. Oh my God, look at us go. All right, well the jackfruit is finished. I am taking it off the heat and trying to let it cool now. So this is just gonna take some patience. We're just gonna let this cool. Well, we have now reached the part of the recipe where I realize this isn't easy. <laughs> There's a lot of steps involved. Uh, and some of the steps are very, well, let's just put it this way. You have to do these steps right, otherwise the whole thing's ruined. So now is the part where we're gonna take our little cauliflower florets and we are gonna coat them and shape together our chicken wing. Uh, we're gonna do that by putting it on plastic wrap that I have here on my work surface. And once it is shaped, we're gonna sort of wrap the cauliflower in jackfruit with the plastic wrap and sort of shape it, I don't know. I think we should just try it. I'm supposed to make them kind of big. Maybe that's a little too big. And we are going to, I guess we're just gonna do this, I don't know. <sighs> oh my God, what did I just make? Okay, we're making chicken out of plants. This is wild. Okay, so we're gonna put this in the freezer. Hold up. So we're just sort of like folded. This is crazy. I don't even know. I'm, I think going from both sides is the way to go and then just sort of tying it into a knot. This is hard. This is definitely a hard part. I'm gonna try to freeze this. I wish I had a sous chef. Peesh. All right, so I'm trying to just like make the ball. Okay, now we're gonna twist. Freezer. Not all of them are gonna be perfect. I don't know, man. This is stressful. <clears throat> Dude, that was the most stressful thing I've ever done in this kitchen. Holy crap. Okay, that's the first hard part. There is another hard part later but we have to let those freeze for an hour. So I'll see you guys in an hour. Okay, so I just wanted to show you what it looked like in the fridge uh, right now. Just like opening the fridge and seeing that is like trippy because they do sort of look like frozen chicken wings by the color of the bone and the, and the meat or whatever, but I don't know, I gotta let them freeze a little more, then we'll fry them. Okay. It's been almost an hour and uh, I wanted to come and get some things prepped for when those puppies are ready to be deep fried. Uh, right here, I have with me the spice mixture that we're gonna add to our flour. I'm gonna link the recipe because I don't feel like reading off a million spices, but it's a good looking spice mixture and I think uh, it should provide for some really tasty breading. Some of the more obscure things you're gonna need are kalanamak, which is black salt, and this. But one of the weirder things about this recipe is you're going to take two cans since we are doubling the recipe. Uh, if you're just doing the regular recipe, you're gonna take one can of garbanzo beans and drain the liquid. And keep the liquid, we're not using the garbanzo beans, we're only using the liquid. So you're gonna have, it's called aquafaba, I think. And so you're gonna have a bowl of just the kind of slimy juice that comes in a can of garbanzo beans, I guess, I don't know. But this is sort of gonna be used as our our egg wash, I think, when you fry stuff, is that what it's called? So you're gonna go wet, dry, wet, dry, and this is gonna be our wet. So this is actually called aji, or ahi no moto. I think it's aji no moto. And we are gonna get two teaspoons of it. This is actually, I believe, an MSG, which we all know is just so good for us. We're gonna do two teaspoons of it. It's actually a super cute bottle, though. Throw a little extra in. Oh, there's our alarm. Hey, Google. Stop it right now. Hey Google, don't do that.
All right, we're gonna turn this on high and we are gonna put a whole bunch of oil into our pot because we are deep frying these puppies. I'm thinking we want to get just above 300 degrees. It's about 150 right now. And this is gonna, this part's gonna go fast. So I'm gonna do a quick little panic at the beginning and then we're gonna find our rhythm. And then we're gonna have wings, but the chicken bone is a cauliflower. I can't wait. We are almost there. Stay with me. Just got it out of the freezer. Feels super weird, but we have to be quick with this. I'm gonna dip it all the way and right into the flour. Firmly shape it back into the aquafaba, then back into here. It's gonna try to fall apart on you. Oh my God, it's so big. Okay, when the recipe says you have to be quick on this one, on this part, you're, they're not joking because it's really just trying to fall apart on me. Also, wet hand, dry hand is gonna turn into shit show, both hands. Oh God, it's getting messy, y'all. They're looking crispy, they're looking nice. This is insane. The, oh, this one broke. We were about to have one casualty, I suppose. Just keep flipping. Don't think about the mistakes that you could make right now. So we did some science here. Wait, can I try it? Yep. <gasps> it smells so good in here. It smells good? Yeah. Wait, did you already try it? No. So I think this one is a good temperature to try. It might still be pretty hot. I don't know, you think. That is Julian hot. It's too hot. hot. That is Julian oh, hot. Oh, it's Julian hot. Okay, maybe come back in like five minutes. What does it taste like? Oh my God. Pretty good. It's like juicier, obviously, than like the chicken, the vegan chicken you Yeah, had. yeah. But this is so, the flavor is insane. It's a little too juicy. all over the floor. Yeah, okay. Jackfruit's pretty juicy in there, that's okay. Mm. Do you like it? Oh my God, that is so good. That's not allowed. That's not allowed. How'd you get it to taste like that? Is it like a broth? I cooked the jackfruit in a broth. And then breaded it? Yeah. I don't think that's good for you. And instead of the chicken bone, that's the cauliflower. That is so cool. I think this is the first time that I've had jackfruit that I like actually really like it. Really? Yeah, because it doesn't, I don't know. We got everything weird out of it, you know? Yeah, that this is good. The flavor though is so amazing. Is the cauliflower raw? It's not cooked all the way through, I don't think. No, but to keep it hard. Yeah, it's the bone. You're supposed to keep it hard. No. This turned out really good. I can't like make sense. It's definitely like greasy like chicken. It tastes that like chicken stock flavor. That's what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you made it taste like chicken stock. But that's what the jackfruit tastes like. It doesn't taste like fruit. No, it doesn't. Well, mission accomplished then. It's really good. It's really good. When you told me the idea, I was like, mm, I don't know if that's gonna work. It's gonna taste too much like jackfruit. Yeah. Or it's gonna be like really shredded. Yeah. I'm just sitting here like housing this. I'm sorry, did you need this? No. We made, y'all, we made chicken wings out of cauliflower and jackfruit. What the heck? Yeah, dude, this, I mean, this came out really good. The best part about this is that once you bite into the obvious fried chicken tasting exterior of the breading and the crispiness of the oil. Once you bite into that, you get more chicken flavoring on the inside instead of getting some whatever substitute that is kind of masked by the breading. You get chicken outside, chicken inside, both texture and taste. I'm very impressed by this. I mean, this was a super obscure method of doing this. Oh my God. And the coolest part is the bone actually looks like a bone. Not a cauliflower, but it's a cauliflower. We did it to him. I got nothing else to say. This took me like eight hours and uh, it was so worth it. It's so good. I hope you enjoyed watching me be super ambitious today and make a giant mess, but end up with some incredible jackfruit and cauliflower chicken wings. <laughs> wings, but the chicken bone is a cauliflower. Yeah, I'm gonna link the recipe. I think if you're feeling froggy, you should try this. Or if you're craving chicken, you should try this. 
All appliance, man. I need to clean up spatters of oil quite literally everywhere. That is not, there's no way. How? I'm gonna go ponder how this is even possible while I eat everything. Thanks for watching.